Uh, today I have another announcement uh, as well that is so important. It's one that links uh, this region with our commitment to better education outcomes and better health outcomes. We've already announced major health uh, funding, including two urgent care clinics here. But today I can announce that we'll deliver an additional $27.5 million to construct a health and engineering wing at Central Queensland University's Cairns campus. Uh, this will mean more students can study closer to home and help close workforce shortages. One of the issues here that's been identified by Matt as our candidate is radiology here in, not just in Cairns, but of course on the Cape as well. Uh, we need to make sure that we can train more people so that people can get services closer to where they live. This will open this facility in 2028. It will double nursing student capacity from 630 to 1,260 to address workforce shortages. It will expand facilities to accommodate growth in physio, OTs, clinical exercise, physiology, addressing the projected workforce shortages. But importantly as well, it will accelerate the delivery of the Bachelor of Medical Imaging, bringing forward commencement to 2026. As a direct result, Central Queensland University uh, will make uh, that announcement uh, later today. Uh, this will help to secure uh, pipeline in demand graduates sooner. It will expand the total student cohort here in Cairns from 4,000 up to 6,000. It builds on our $50 million investment in the 2022-23 budget handed down in October, our first budget uh, for a central Queensland University campus in the Cairns CBD. And of course, it is a part of our strengthening of Medicare that has to deliver increased services, but also a better and stronger workforce as well. And I say to Matt, uh, it's an extraordinary commitment that you've shown to this local community, bringing forward ideas like this to make sure that the gaps are filled. And this will fill an enormous gap here in uh, tropical North Queensland. I'm very proud we're able to make this announcement today. I'll turn to the Health Minister and then our Great Barrier Reef Envoy and then we're happy to take some questions. We'll do locals first and then uh, take from the travelling party.